and United eventually will clear as Fernandez knocks it forward to McTominay. Well read by Lewis Cook though, down the right side of the penalty. No ball into Solanke, and Bournemouth have stolen in front. Lewis Cook stole the ball, drove it across, and Solanke struck it in. And the Cherries travelling supporters who came with hope and belief today are in raptures away to our right as Bournemouth lead at Old Trafford inside five minutes. But up over the top looking for the run of Amrabat, but easily read by Zabani. Now Dom Solanke with a chance to run. He's got three red shirts around him at the moment, away from McTominay. To the left side and Tavernier, Phil Billing at the back post is unmarked. The ball in towards Billing, who heads it in! And Bournemouth all of a sudden have a two-goal lead at Old Trafford. Their attacking moments have been few and far between in the second half, but boy have they made them count as Phil Billing off the bench puts the Cherries two up. Absolutely magnificent. Masley made me eat my words. I thought he was struggling to get up to speed with the with the game, but he powered in on the far post, punched the ball past the keeper with his head. Absolutely fantastic. Puts us in a strong, strong position now. just behind Marcus Tavernier delivering this corner kick for the Cherries once again from this near side goes deeper this time and power in for a third Bournemouth goal by Sinesi his second goal in four days and this is dreamland at Old Trafford it's Manchester United nil Bournemouth three and there are 75,000 boos and 1,500 cheers and, and 25,000 leaving the stadium what a cross what a header, what a nice.